Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve question number 15 of lead code that is three sum. Okay, so question states that we are given an integer array nums and we are supposed to return all the triplets such that nums of i plus nums of j plus nums of k is equals to zero, where i is not as equals to j, i is not as equals to k, and j is not as equals to k. Okay, and it is given that the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets. Okay, so in answer vector, my all triplets should be unique. So now let's understand with this example what question is exactly saying to us. This is my given input nums array okay and i'm having six values over here so i'm supposed to find three element such that i is not as equals to j j is not as equals to k and k is not as equals to i and this sum is equals to zero okay so i can see that both of the triplets sum is equals to zero so this is what we are supposed to do in this question okay so now let's move into the solution part and we'll understand how to approach this question so see this is gonna be our example okay what will be our first step i'll simply sort it out okay i'll simply sort this array so after sorting it will be like this so see now we have sorted our array so i'm saying that now we'll have three variables over here that is i j and k okay initially my i will be over here my j will be at i plus one and my k will be at the last index okay now i'm saying this my i will be constant and i'll keep on playing within this part okay so what we'll do we'll have a base condition that is while j is less than k see between this we are going to apply the same approach as we have performed in two sum two problem okay if you haven't watched that video then i'm giving the link of that video in this i button okay you can go and watch that or else i'm going to discuss each and every other approaches over here okay so what i said my base condition will be when j is less than k what i'll do i'll simply check one thing that is if a of i plus a of j plus a of k is equals to zero or not if it is equals to zero then we'll do something so check if it is equals to zero or not my i is here that is minus one minus one plus three okay i can see that my value is greater than zero my value is greater than zero so this is my second case so when the value is greater than zero i know that my resultant sum is greater than zero and i need to decrease it so as to get zero as my answer so how i can decrease it i know that this array is in a sorted form okay so if i'll move from right to left the values are decreasing and hence my sum will also decrease okay so what i'll do when my sum is greater than zero i'll simply decrement my k i'll simply decrement my k now my k will come over here now my k will come over here now again we'll check the sum that is minus one minus one plus two and this is equals to zero now i can say that i got my first triplet i got my first triplet that is minus one minus one two okay now this condition is true when we are having this condition is true at that time we do one thing that is we increment our j and will decrement our k okay now my j will come over here now my k will come over here okay but now the catch comes as we have calculated for two over here that is initially the k was pointing to this two okay so we have calculated our answer for two now again after decrementing my k my value is two okay so what i'll do i'll keep on shifting my k to left side that is i'll keep on decrementing my k until and unless i'm not getting the next value i'm not getting the next value or a different value so now rather than being over here my k will come here now my k will point to this one okay and my j will be at this point okay my j will be at this point now again i'll check the sum that is minus one plus zero plus one again my value is zero over here so again i can say that i got the another triplet minus one zero and one okay and what we were doing in this case we were incrementing our j and we were decrementing our k now my j will come over here now my k will also be over here okay so now my base condition is getting false now my base condition is getting false so because of this i'll come out of my while loop i will come out of my while loop so now see at that time my i was here so now my i will point to this minus one that is at the second index that is at the second element but now again the same thing comes what i'm saying as we have calculated our sum for this minus one so now i can say that i'll get the exact same answer or i'll not get but if i'm getting the answer then the triplets will be same okay as you can see over here is that minus one zero one you're getting the same exact answer so it's of no use to move further on okay it's of no use to move further on so what we'll do we'll keep on shifting our i until unless we're not getting the next different value so rather than over here my i will point to here my i will point to here 
now again the same thing starts my j will be at the i plus one my k will be at the last index and we'll keep on performing the same approach over here so let's do what is the value of i zero plus zero plus three okay plus three its sum is three this condition is true so what we are doing at that time we are simply decrementing our k now my k will come over here again i'll do the same thing zero plus zero plus two again i'm getting two again i'll decrement my k now my k will be here as i said that we, we are supposed to decrement the value of k until this i'm not getting the next different element so now my k will come over here okay so again i'll calculate the sum zero plus zero plus one which is equals to one now i can say that again i'm getting my sum as greater than zero so again i'll decrement my k now my k will come over here okay after coming my k over here this base condition will get false now we'll come again out of this loop okay now again we'll come out of this loop after that again i'll shift my i2 here why not here because see they are the same element so that's why i'll shift my i2 here and i will keep on repeating the same procedure and if i'm getting my sum as zero in any case i'll simply add the triplet to my vector okay so this is the approach over here but now one catch comes let us suppose that instead of minus one if it would have been minus five over here so in the first case would have been our sum it would be like this minus one minus one plus three because initially my i was here j was here and my k was here so minus one minus minus five minus one plus three it was giving me sum as minus two now this condition is not true this condition is not true so what to do now there will be a third condition well my when my sum is less than zero when my sum is less than zero so this means that i have to increase my sum so as to reach to the zero okay and how i can increase my sum i can increase my sum by using greater values i can increase my sum by using greater values so see i know that this array is in a sorted form if i move from right to left if i move from right to left my values are decreasing and if i am moving from left to right my values are increasing so what i do i simply do one thing my j was pointing over here so I, at that time i'll increment my j i will increment my j now i'm having three conditions with me when the sum is equals to zero at that time i was incrementing my j and decrementing my k until and unless i'm not getting the next different element when my sum was greater than zero i was decrementing my k and when my sum was less than zero at that time i was incrementing my j okay so now we are done with all these concepts and all and now let's move to the coding part so see initial make a variable as n which will hold the size of this nums array okay now we'll make a vector which can have the triplet vector inside it okay after this what was our first step we were simply sorting out our given array so nums dot begin and nums dot end now my vector is sorted so see i can see that initially my i was over here okay once I, I was done with this part i was incrementing my i i was incrementing i once i was done this with this part i was again incrementing my i so we can achieve this with the help of a for loop for int i is equals to zero i is less than n i plus plus okay so see now there were two vectors okay so j which was pointing to second element that is i plus one and k was pointing to the last element so now see once i'm having this what was my base condition my base condition was while j is less than k now inside this what i was doing i was simply doing one thing that is i was checking if this sum is equals to zero or not okay so let's write for that case is equals to zero or not okay what is that if it was zero at that time we were simply doing one thing that is we were incrementing our j and we were decrementing our k now see i told you that we'll keep on incrementing and decrementing until unless i'm not getting the next different element now we'll write code for that that is while j is less than k and nums of j is equal to nums of j minus one that is let us suppose that i increment i incremented my j over here okay so my j is here so that's what i'm checking over here that is if my a of j is equals to a of j minus one that is if they are equal then i have to increment my j again so simple increment my j that's it now same goes for k while j is less than k and nums of k is equal to nums of k plus one as we are shifting it left that's why i'm checking the next element that is k plus one element at that time we were decrementing our k so yeah we are done with this now what was my second case else if nums of i i'll simply copy paste it is greater than zero what we were doing at that time we were simply decrementing our k else if this sum is less than zero so at that time we were incrementing our j okay let's write that case also for the better understanding 
else if this is less than zero. So at that time we were incrementing RJ. Okay. Now we forget one part over here. That is, we just forgot one thing over here. That is, when the sum was equal to zero, what we were doing? We were adding a triplet to our answer vector. Okay. Over here, my answer vector is this v. So what I'll do is simply push back. And what I'll push back? Nums of i, comma nums of j, comma nums of a. Okay. So yeah. Now I'll come out of this loop, for loop, and I'll simply return my v. That's it. Now we are done with this code. Let's try to run it. Sorry, my bad. So now see, I got wrong value over here. Okay, both of these conditions are true. Okay, so yeah, but why I'm getting wrong answer over here? Recall, I told you that when the values of i will be same at that time, I'm not going to consider it. Okay, that's why I didn't wrote initially over here because to let you understand what I was trying to say. See, over here I'm getting minus one zero one minus one zero one as my duplicate value. Over here I told you initially it was minus one. So if I had already calculated for minus one, then it's of no use to calculate it for again. And I gave you the same example of minus one zero one. Okay, so there we were doing wrong. Okay, so now see it's a simple line of code. That is, if i is greater than zero and my nums of i is equal to nums of i minus one. At that time, I'm not supposed to do anything. I'll simply continue. That's it. Now we'll try to run it. Now we can see that yeah, it is working and we'll try to submit it. Now we can see that yeah, it is submitted too. So this was a solution guys. I hope you understood all these concepts and the logic behind this problem. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. Have a good day.